All right, here we go. Phillies and Braves are tied at six in the ninth inning Sunday night baseball. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. Download DraftKings. Use promo code JOHNBOY when you do. Have some fun. Have some heartbreak like you're about to see here. Security guard sees a little kid. Hi, little kid. Being real nice. I like that. Leading off, the rookie. Well, he's a rookie last year. He's still young. Boom. Puts one to the wall. That's going to put him on second base. And the Phillies got something brewing here. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Next batter goes the other way with it on the ground. Move the runner over. Fundamental baseball. All you need now is a sack fly to score the go-ahead run in the ninth inning. And Didi Gregorius gives them just that. Little pop-up. It's shallow, though. Ozuna gets under it. Puts his momentum going forward. Throw. We're going to get a play at the plate. And. And ruled safe. Darno kind of stunned, looking around like, what just happened? What was that? Pitcher Will Smith says he was out, wasn't he? No way he touched the plate. Darno's looking around like, I, I, I don't know. They call it in to get some replay help. This guy just chomping his gum into the microphone, probably pissing off whoever's on the other end. And let's look at the replay. Here it is. Does he touch the plate? He hasn't touched it yet. Hasn't touched it yet. Darno's knee slides his foot over. Did he touch it there a little bit? That's what a lot of Phillies fans are saying. Maybe the spike came down on it there. I don't think so. Here's another angle of it. All right. We, we know he hasn't touched it yet from the other angle. Now he slides across the plate and that toe is still up and that toe is still up and the toe comes down well past the plate. Here's a third angle. We know he doesn't touch it initially from the first angle. Slides across, comes. Look how far away his cleat is when he makes contact. So I don't think from the first angle his cleat touched. Now here's all three at once. And MLB has the ability to do this. It's not some crazy technology to run all three angles at the same time synced up. They have time stamps. So here we go. The heel comes down. You can see it in all three angles that we already watched. Now it's going to slide across the plate. So you know at this point. This is when it's blocked by the ump. And I saw a lot of people saying, well, the ump blocks his foot in that one angle. Maybe he touched it there. Well, you can see down here, hasn't touched, up here, hasn't touched. And then as we slide across, when that toe comes down, you can see the toe comes down and touches for the first time off the plate, off the plate, off the plate. So, I mean, clear as day that he did not touch home plate. But for some reason, MLB replay is just incredibly broken. Freddie Freeman knows it. Oh, how? Because they ruled him safe, and the Phillies are excited, and Snitger and the Braves are irate. We're going to get a thrown water cup right there. Snitger's going to take his hat off, bears beautiful hair, throws the hat up like a graduation ceremony, and he's just, what's going on? Get out of here. All you had to do was look up at the screen. Bullshit. He's going to go out there and talk, and I only got a couple bit of the words that he says here, but Snicker basically tells them, he opens up, and this is why he doesn't get thrown up, because he opens up like, I know it's not you guys, I know it's not your call, but how? When I can see it, and the audience can see it, and the fans can see it at the angle, like, and he says there, I know it's not you guys, and then he says, that guy did not touch the plate, so I think that's why he didn't get ejected, but great, <laughs> great mask adjustment there, he's riding a little bit low. All right, a little bit high. He's all over it, though. But, yeah, man, I mean, I think he didn't get ejected because he tells him, like, I know that you guys didn't make this call, but the guys in New York in the booth, like, it's got to get cleaned up. They can't just not overturn things when there's clear evidence. And this one was clear evidence. And now this ump's talking to Darno, and he's like, dude, I don't want to talk to you at all right now. Just because we both have to stand here doesn't mean we have to talk. The Braves go on to lose. Neris gets three outs for the Phillies to end the game. And that's it. MLB had a really nice Sunday night baseball game on their hands with a lot of intrigue. It was tied in the ninth, and then the storyline is the all-star talent, the great play. No, the storyline is that MLB's replay is broken, and it's so broken it makes no sense. Why does the call on the field hold any water? Why do, why do they refer to the human who made the call when that's the very thing in question? Like, they replay it because they're like, I don't believe that the umpire got it right. And they're like, well, the call that you're questioning holds the most weight. So unless we can 100,000% say he got it wrong, we have to go with that. Why? Just take that out of your mind. Like, in a courtroom when they're like, the jury, like, disregard that jury. Disregard what the ump called. 
and just say what the replay says. Because this is 99.9% to anyone with eyes. He did not touch the plate. But for some people, there's that 0.1%. And if there's that 0.1%, well, we got to go with what the guy called on the field. Why? He's a human. This is technology. One should matter so much more than the other. It's so crazy. This is like the fourth replay MLB got wrong. Anyway, thanks for watching. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. Go to DraftKings. Use code John Boy when you do. You can bet on sports and then have your heart broken. Did this affect the over-under at all? Did this affect the money line? Had to affect the money line. Oh, man. DraftKings. Promo code John Boy. Get better.